to Washington when he's about to table a bill and why there's been so much information available about this bill in the media and it's not yet been tabled in Parliament. Mm -hmm. So I think the whole thing has gone awry and this minister should really be, you know, kind of called up and, uh, you know, he is the Minister of Justice. He should be putting this legislation that he's promised repeatedly uh, before Parliament and here we are waiting again. Why is that? Is it because Mr. Ashcroft didn't like okay, what he that's saw? To the point, we've got your point. So Derek, Derek Lee, uh, this this was supposed to come up at caucus this morning and I guess you, without giving away the details, did was there a discussion on, on this legislation this morning in caucus? Uh, we generally, uh, we don't talk what goes on in caucus. Right, I don't, don't uh, want to hear the details, but did, did you talk about it? Uh, there was reference at uh, some point this morning in my travels uh, to, yes. to the issue. Okay, we'll take, take uh, but, that as a yes. But, uh, you know, I think Randy and Libby have a good point here when they say that what's important is the whole package. Our, our special committee certainly took that view. And anybody who thinks that this legislation was just going to deal with the minor piece of marijuana had it wrong. Maybe the media had it wrong. It's a much bigger picture. There's a lot more things to be done. And uh, who knows, maybe there are a couple of commas missing, maybe the optics weren't well, right, but in the end, uh, I think everyone will agree that when we do it, when we make the move, we better do it right, and get it right in the first day, including the optics. Well, so how, so how much, I mean, Anne McClellan did say she's in favor of decriminalization, wants to move forward, but she does express, she, she also expressed a concern today about uh, the need to educate people about the dangers of, of, of marijuana and smoking marijuana. Sure, I mean, Libby yeah. would agree with yeah, it. Well, but, but, she, but the, and the point the report. report. Sure, but the you point, know, I, know the, I know the report, but the point I'm making is, from her comments, it didn't sound like she felt that that, that message was going to be part of this announcement. Yeah, it's quite possible that uh, maybe someone in justice thought uh, we'll lead with the marijuana piece, have a few add-ons, and then fix up the rest in the weeks to come. Uh, if they were thinking that, uh, this particular member would have preferred a, a comprehensive approach, as my colleagues, I'm sure, agree, would, would agree with. Um, but we, we may never know the answer to that. All I know is that uh, we haven't got a bill this week, but I am concerned that when it comes forward, it's the big picture and not just the marijuana piece. Well, then what do you expect to see, Randy White, that when it does come forward, do you expect then, given this, what we believe is a delay, do you expect it then to come forward as part of a, that quickly as part of a national well, I, strategy I, I, 10 days from now? This is, look, these guys have been in this for 10 years now, and we're talking about a couple days, and they're trying to get their act together. Uh, there have been uh, thousands of people die from drug overdoses in this country, and we're down to the year 2003 in May, uh, trying to figure out, well, uh, let's go talk to the Americans, let's do this, let's do that. I think what's happened here is, is the government's realized that, uh, you know, just putting out a simple piece like, uh, let's decriminalize at this level, likely 20 grams. Uh, they haven't thought, I'm certain, about what happens when people start going into the courtrooms caught with 25 and 30 grams and 35 and 42 grams. Uh, is there going to be a consistency across the country? Is that a, a criminal conviction now, or are the judges going to start all the way over again and say, well, you know, we didn't give a criminal conviction here for 19 grams I'm certainly not going to do it for 31 grams so I think they're, they're they're suddenly realizing that gee there's a little more to this than meets the eye uh, there is no roadside assessment capability uh, in, in those sort of things the uh, solicitor generals of the provinces are telling me that uh, they haven't really got a genuine way of collecting all these fines that they're supposed to be out there uh, they can't even collect the the, the traffic fines much less well, than and the one police are making the case that uh, Libby Davies the police are making the case that they if as we expect, the legislation is going to be tougher on, on traffickers and on, on pot growers. The police are making the case that, well, where are the extra resources to help them track those people down? But you know what, Peter? Like, if they if they don't have the overall strategy uh, ready now, they're certainly not going to have it ready in 10 days. And I, and I think all of us would agree that they have had the components of what needs to be an overall strategy um, in their hands now for several months. I, I really think it has more to do with this overall malaise this has taken over the government where they, they can't seem to make up their minds about anything. I mean, we've seen it on Star Wars, we're seeing it on this now, uh, we've seen it on other issues where there's sort of a flip-flopping and, and there's an indication they're going to do something, the legislation was going to be brought in, 
and all of a sudden it's called off. And I, I still think that because of the um, what they perceive as the sensitivity and the pressure by the Americans, I mean, it is very odd that this minister went down to meet his uh, to meet Mr. Ashcroft, uh, and a day later everything is pulled off. And and I I can't believe that it isn't because they don't have everything in place. Because why then did they put out all the indications that they were ready to go? They're not going to be able to produce that magically in 10 days. I think there's something else at play here. All right. Well, uh, there would be lots of uh, lots of theories and lots of speculation, but uh, I guess the next uh, step is to wait and see what the bill actually looks like when it comes forward. And the bill and the policy. Uh, yeah, and the bill and the policy. We expect that to be a uh, week after next, after the House comes back from uh, the uh, the uh, Victoria Day a week break back in the yeah. constituencies. Right. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Peter. And of small amounts of pot. It was supposed to be introduced tomorrow, but our Justice Minister now says it will happen in about two weeks. Global National's David Viano tells us why suddenly it's all on hold. The first thing they teach you about spin control is stay on message. It's been a very good and cordial meeting. No, no, it's been a cordial no, no, meeting. No, no, no. I repeat it again, it's been very cordial. The Justice Minister was besieged by the media after it was announced that tomorrow he would not be tabling a proposed law to decriminalize possession of small amounts of marijuana. But he didn't want to talk about that. The surprise announcement came hours after Martin Cochon had returned from Washington, where he briefed U.S. Attorney General John Ashcroft on the law. Coincidence? Probably. But the Bush administration strongly opposes making possession a minor offense punishable by a $100 fine. And does it bother you at all that the minister went down to brief Mr. Ashcroft before caucus? Yes. And Liberal MPs don't like the fact Cochon briefed the Americans before talking to them. It's telling me that uh, some are probably nervous about their relation with the United States. Smoking marijuana is not a good thing. It's a carcinogen. Still, the health minister is anxious to proceed with softening the pot law, provided the government educates the public and offers treatment to those who need it. There does appear to be a spike in use, which then levels off, but there is a spike immediately after going to these kinds of uh, different penalties, and certainly one has to be ready to deal with that spike. It can lead to addiction. By day's end, Koshan had a new spin. He'll try again in a few weeks. Wanna until after Parliament returns from a one-week break May 